Bob. Good great to see you again. Thank you. It's great to see I, you. I like to visit your room because you always have something really exceptional. I appreciate that. You. Thank you. And two or three things here that are so uncommon, so uh, rare. We try. We do. to talk about them. Okay, good. This rotocrosite caught my eye. I've seen a lot bigger and maybe better in some ways. But the color of that the color is just really remarkable. unique. It's almost like a red with orange mixed in yeah. it. And what I love about it are these gem crystals at the top. Yeah. Uh, they look like faceted stones. Uh, yeah. it, it's an old piece out of uh, is it? Peru. It is not new. Oh, and yeah. it's from Uchuchacua, yeah. where I think the best rotos come from, from Peru. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, we really love that piece. It's yeah. very unusual. A little calcite set it off beautifully. Exactly, yeah. yes, yes. We can take it out of the case if you like. Oh, yeah. 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 So here you can see it much better. Yeah. It's just yeah. fantastic. Look, look at, at this crystal at the yeah. top. Look at those gem crystals. Yeah, yeah. Right across the top here. They're not big, but boy, are they gem. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. They really look like, uh, Wonderful. you know, it could be set in jewelry, just as it is. Yeah. Every roller crosite collector should have one of these. I, 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 if I had that many, they would. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a great <laughs> contrast it is. to the more common reds. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Now this little lovely, I've, I've seen that on the internet. Yes, that was, these three emeralds, including of course this one, which we call the Angel of the Andes, right. is uh, was part of our big emerald exhibit uh, back in the fall of 2019. In New York City. Yes, yep. in our gallery. And uh, these three were on exhibit in the gallery, as well as of course many others. Yeah. And uh, we do have a catalog of the exhibition that shows every piece that was in the exhibit. In fact, I'm just gonna grab a copy so you can take a look at it. something else. So, here you go, Bob. This is... Yeah, the mine is what? The, uh, this is Chivor. And it was the actually the only emerald we had from Chivor in the exhibit. It was really hard to get. And it was interesting because we could contrast the emerald, emerald that the color of the other mines a darker, yeah. and uh, like this this one is Cosquez this is Cosquez yeah. we had Muzo uh, not quite as gemmy as some of the other locations but the color was very rich yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can uh, this catalog is for you Bob oh thank and, you uh, Look at that. Uh, these will be available yeah. on our website and the uh, you can go to walenskyminerals.com and order the soft cover or hardcover version of the catalog and it has every emerald in the exhibit uh, uh, and it's a permanent record of uh, the Wonderful. exhibition, which is really important. Look at, so look at the size of that one. Oh, that wow. was huge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are lovely. Thank, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you're welcome. You. Well, these are the new pink on fluorides Matrix, from yeah. Mongolia, yeah, as I'm that, sure you know. on Matrix. Yeah, very few were on Matrix, and I think that's one of the more aesthetic ones yeah, that we've seen. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I, I think it, it just changes the whole market about pink fluoride. I mean, yeah. we were so accustomed <laughs> to everything coming out of the, you know, out of Switzerland and France. These Mongolian yeah. ones are really something. Yep, that's a lovely one cabinet specimen. Thank you, thank you. And in contrast to something as common as fluorite, you've got something wow. over here that so I think is just astounding. I agree, I agree. That uh, is something else. So that's a gem quality lead hillite <laughs> from Sardinia. Yeah. And uh, on, on Galena Matrix. <laughs> Uh, we have never seen one this good before. No, I haven't. Yeah, either. this is no, uh, possibly the best uh, ever found. Yeah. It's again also an old piece. This came mm -hmm. from an old European collection, Sheesh. and it's just incredible. What I mean, a specimen! Yeah, I mean we've seen the lead lights from Sumev, which is very famous for lead light, sure. but nothing like this. Yeah, yeah, I love it on the Galena. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's a great, you know, good example of you know secondary mineral on the primary mineral. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I love born. Uh, people know I love born the nights. Oh, this born the night is so that's wonderful, good, isn't it? That is really exceptional. It's a complete euhedral yeah. crystal of born the night yeah. with a little purple fluorite on quartz. A great quartz with it. Yeah. yeah. What I like about it is the balance of the piece. Mm -hmm. the, you know, the two minerals here and then the quartz coming up the back. Yeah. Yeah. And it's complete. It's a floater. It's totally wow, complete. Look at that. Look at that. And this, of course, yeah. is from the Yaoganji mine in China. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it redefines Mornonite. I mean, oh, we, definitely. you know, yeah. when we started, we all knew the great English ones. Yep. But that these Chinese really. ones, yeah. just are another level. Yeah, the stuff out of Mexico was nice, but nothing compared to this. Right, it's just yeah. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. One of these in here is an old timer, I think. Well, these have been out for quite a while. Yeah, old timer, Inesite. relative. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this came out with the original <clears throat> find of Inosites from China. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but this one, very few came out on quartz. 
and none of them came out on a big quartz like this with yeah. the clarity of that. Yeah. So, and, and look at the luster, the yeah. sparkle of the inside on this piece. Little, little, and you got this wonderful huge. dolomite right in the center. Yeah, yeah. This piece yeah. has actually been published a few times. Oh, it has. Yeah. Okay. And look at the inclusions of pyrite. Yeah, you're a little humid right on your toe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be yeah. at right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah, very nice assemblage. Thank you. Yep. So that's relatively so new. Yeah. Uh, that pocket was found about a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. it's one of the, it is considered the finest pocket from Pakistan of aquamarine with spacertines. Yeah. And it must have taken a long time to glue all those on there. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did. I know, I did it. It did. What a <laughs> but the, it's a great contrast to have them. I like the way it looks because it looks like a pocket. Yeah, it looks yeah. like as if as if yeah. it were still in the pocket. Partial pocket. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yep, and this one of course caught my eye. This is a fairly recent find from Mongolia, the same place we're getting the pink fluorites from, but this Look is pyrotite yeah, yeah, yeah. on purple yeah, fluoride. Yeah, and the fluoride is zoned, of course. Yes, yeah. yes. Which that really sets off the pyrotites. There were three major pieces that came out yeah. that I know of. This yeah. one, then there's the one back there, yeah. and then there was a third one which we did not get. But um, those th those are the three, and then there were some minor ones, but it was a small find. Hmm. Brilliant luster, wonderful crystals. I've yeah. never seen pyrotite on fluorite before. No. It's, no. A, it's a combination that I don't know if it exists anywhere else. Can't think of any offhand. No, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, great piece. Thank you. Well, Stu, I'm always impressed when well, I come to see your... I appreciate medals. that, Bob. If you're impressed, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It's just it's always fun to talk with you and Thank see you your great Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Absolutely.